Hello everyone, welcome back to Steam Code. In this video, we're going to be starting off with our Selenium tutorial series. Now, Selenium allows you to automate your web testing and allows you to web scrape on whatever website you want. So this is a very useful thing if you are a web developer or you run websites and any web development technologies. So let's just jump right into it. The first thing you're going to need to do is install node.js. The link to this the link to this is in the description, but you can just search on Google Chrome, Node.js installation, and this page will show up. You can download whichever one suits your device. Now let's just jump right into the code. So here inside of VS Code, you can use whatever editor you want. VS Code is my personal recommendation. We're going to need to install some files and some dependencies. So we're going to start off with npm init dash y now what this does is it initializes our project by creating the package.json file and the dash y is optional it just answers yes to all the questions they'll ask you when you're initializing the file so let's just press enter let's run this all right now it's been initialized and as you can see the package.json file does appear as you're doing that and so if you want it to fill these in manually you can omit the dash y and then fill in the description the main file you want and all the rest that you have here manually now you need to actually install the selenium web driver the chrome driver and if you're using firefox the gecko driver so i'll install all three depending on whichever one you're using so we can say npm install dash dash save selenium dash web driver chrome driver and we're going to be also be doing gecko driver gecko drivers for firefox and just press enter all three should install let's wait for it to install all right now all of our things are here now we can actually create the file that we're going to be using to test our web so we have here node modules. If you've never used node.js before, just know that the node modules are the modules that you're going to be using or that you're allowed to use within your code. So as you can see here, we have Chrome driver. We have Gecko driver down here and whichever other nodes you might need in your code. So let's create the actual file that we're going to be using. So create a new folder. This is going to be called tests. Inside this folder, we're going to have a file called test.js. And let's navigate to this directory within our terminal. So CD tests. All right. And within test.js, let's just jump right in. So we can say constant by key and builder is equal to require selenium web driver. And so you remember the Selenium web driver module we installed with node.j with npm, the node package manager, we're using that Selenium web driver to get these mod or, or to get these functions. So once we have these, we can also require the Chrome driver because that's the only one I'll be testing in this video, you can use gecko driver if you would like. So require Chrome driver. And now we can hop right into the code. So we're going to be creating an asynchronous function. And it might be a little complicated for beginners to understand what asynchronous functions are. But just the basic explanation of asynchronous is it waits for a promise to be delivered. And once that promise is delivered, it runs whatever code you say. So we can say async function. Let's call this function test underscore case. We're not going to pass any parameters. And then we're going to say let driver equal await new builder dot for browser chrome dot build. So what is this doing? It's creating a new driver. It's creating a new Selenium web driver. And the await... Remember, just await and async are keywords that we're going to use to make sure these functions are running on time. That's all you need to know about it right now. And then we're going to create a new Selenium web driver, new builder 
for the browser Chrome. You can change it to Firefox or Microsoft Edge or Opera, whichever browser you're using. We're going to be using Chrome and then we're going to be building it dot build. And then since this is a method, I omitted it, but we need the parentheses. All right. Now let's say await driver dot get. And then we need the URL of the page that we're getting. Since this is a basic tutorial, we're just going to be using google.com. So we're going to be saying HTTPS. Remember, you need the full address. So HTTPS, google.com. And so same thing, the await, just waiting for it to happen at the right time. And then with the driver, we're getting this URL. Now below here, we need to say await driver dot find element sorry about that find element by dot name i'll tell you what all this means once i'm done writing out this line q and then we need dot send keys we're just going to send hello world exclamation point and then we're going to say key dot return now, what does all of this do? So this is a lot to unpack. So basically what this code does is it's saying get using the driver. We're going to find the element that's named Q and I'll show you what that element is. We're going to send to that element the string hello comma world exclamation point. And then after we send that string, we're going to press the return button on our keyboard. And as you can see here, we're using all three of the classes that we imported, the buy class, the key class, and the builder class. You can import whatever class you want from the Selenium web driver and use them accordingly. All right, so now that we have that down, actually before we move on to the code, let me just show you what this Q element is. So let's hop into Firefox and I'll go to google.com. And if we inspect element right here, you can see here that this input box has the name Q. So this is the element that we're getting within our code. All right, so now let's move on with the code. And it can be over right now. You can say driver.quit, but we're gonna set an interval. So we're just gonna make the code wait for a little bit of time. I'll put 10 seconds, and then we're gonna make the driver quit. So we can say set interval. We're gonna create an anonymous function so it doesn't need to have a name. And then we're gonna specify the time. So this is in milliseconds, so we're gonna say 10,000 milliseconds or 10 seconds, all right? And then within our function, we're just gonna say driver.quit. Driver.quit just closes out, the, closes out the tester and it makes it such that all of the testing that we've done is over and it closes the tab. So driver.quit. And then we have this method here, but we're not actually running it. So at the bottom of your code, run the test case method. Test underscore case, parentheses, and let's test it. So we can say node test.js. And the code should be running. It opened on a different monitor. So let me run this again so you can actually see it. So it's control C and then just run the same thing again, node test.js. And as you can see here, it opens on a different monitor. So it may be a little confusing to you. But if you run it on your own, you will see that it opens up the Chrome tab and it searches up Hello World. Let's run this one more time. All right, as you can see, it opened up Hello World and it searched it on Google. All right, so this is just a very basic overview of how to get started using Selenium. We just put our foot through the door and we allowed ourselves to search for an element, send it some information, and then use our keyboard to interact with that element that we used. And continuing on with the series, we're going to be creating new folders or new files. We're going to be adding new things to those files and doing some more web scraping, more automation testing in the future. This has been Steam Code. I will see you next time. If you like the video, please like and subscribe. Check out our GitHub down below. 
check out our patreon and we have a discord check that out you can ask me questions you can ask our community questions so please check that out down below and i will see you all next time thanks for watching